There are lots of gears turning right now, and they're turning pretty much in sync. It starts with the stimulus. You know, we print a lot of money, give a lot of money to people, give a lot of loans. That's not really printing money. That's giving loans. We'll take that money out. That then affects the dollar index, it looks like. There's a lot more dollars out there, a lot more dollars compared to the amount of euros. Europe is, you know, recovering very nicely. There's the lookings of a second wave starting, but they're recovering very nicely. Looks like it could be better recovery than we're having over here. That's a major component of the dollar index. So the dollar index is in a downward trend at the lowest level it's been in over two years. That's allowing things like gold to rally, silver to rally, lots of commodities that are traded for dollars to rally. And at the end of the day, that should help stock prices. So now that I'm seeing the dollar index kind of have this effect, I'm still bullish on equities now. Now I want to be long in equities. I'm very interested in gold and silver, as I've been talking about for a while. We first got in that in May. But you don't want to be in cash. That's the one thing you do not want to have. That's my point right here. The one thing you don't want to have is cash, which is why last week I converted almost all of my cash, just enough to cover a short and a little extra on the side besides that, into gold and silver. Um, and that's obviously just continued to rally. Now, I expect that to continue as long as there's inflation concerns, which we're about to hear about a brand new stimulus plan from the GOP, um, and a falling dollar index. If those two things continue to happen, then things like gold should rally. And if that continues to happen and the economy continues to recover, then the stock market should continue to rally. But I'm not buying all stocks, okay? This is not the March lows. I'm looking still for traditional investing opportunities, places where I see some mismatch. So mega cap tech seems like it's gonna be the safe play. It's been the safe play. Today, it was the leader. Some concern, some shakiness overall in the market. Relatively low volume. People weren't really super excited about buying today. But tech is the economy now. It's what's keeping us all alive, keeping us all working, doing whatever, going to school, whatever it is. Tech is the economy. It's the backbone. So if you need somewhere to park money, park cash, which you do, tech is the place to go. So... It seems to me like the market might end up being pretty resilient if it hasn't already proved that through all of this. So I know I had some previous pessimism, specifically around mega cap tech, which I believed was overvalued. And I still think it's overvalued. You're not going to get that traditional investment opportunity with a price mismatch in mega cap tech. But if you are a passive investor and just need to put cash somewhere so it's not cash, and gold doesn't do it for you, you know, you can't really go wrong with Apple. You know, it's expensive, but you can't go wrong with Apple. So it is what it is. Maybe those companies will continue to rise as inflation rolls around. You know, half the country, not half the country, but like 20% of the country is making more than they were before because they're on unemployment. Obviously, it's not 20%, but it's a large, maybe 20%, 10% of the working population. It's a lot of people. So there's a lot of cash, there's a lot of spending. We saw that in the bank data when they were talking about credit card spending and all that, that you know, I was very surprised that spending returned to very strongly very quickly, but it's because of the stimulus. And what is inflation? Inflation is the price level. So if people have more dollars, that's gonna increase demand for products. You know, it's like a, a shift in the supply demand curve and that increases the price level. So you know, supply will meet it over the long run, but over the short run and over the long run, the, p the price will increase. So we'll uh, expect to see that reflected in products. Then that gets translated into earnings, which then gets translated into, you know, stock could rise before that, but then gets translated into justified stock valuation. So... We'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my tricks around these, this stimulus, additional stimulus and previous stimulus, this falling dollar index, which has pros and cons, you know. It's, it's gonna make our exports cheaper. Um, and 
you know, rising US-China tensions. That was what the last video was talking about. Not a whole lot new covering that today. But we're just kind of seeing how things develop. Pretty quiet day today in the volume category. So especially in the growth stocks. A lot of the CRISPR stocks are trading at 50% volume. Upwork was trading at lower than average volume. So that's obviously a very somewhat arbitrary number because there could be a rally at one point in the last period. And uh, that skews that number. So we're just kind of seeing how things develop right now. There's a strong case that I'm now, I don't want to believe, but I'm kind of forced to believe that equities will continue to rise. And um, I'm, I'm bullish commodities, just pretty much every commodity. I, I just heard that lumber was outperforming gold and silver. So until tomorrow, peace.